fast, fair. Fox Toledo News. First and 10 starts right now. First and 10, killing deer in Ottawa Hills. A group opposed to council's plan are fighting back, hoping to get a referendum on the ballot so voters can decide whether deer hunting should be allowed in the village. Fox Toledo's Kelly Miner is live with what's going on. Throughout the day, concerned residents gather to sign petitions. They say they need at least 218 signatures in order to be considered for next May's ballot. People, we recognize there are people who have uh, problems with deer grazing in their yards and, and, and damaging their expensive landscaping. Um, we believe that this course of action does nothing to address those people's problems. That's why Robert Slater and others are signing this petition so other options can be explored. He also wants to see a longer term population study from Village Council. Two weeks ago, hundreds of people packed the room where Ottawa Hills Village Council approved changes to hunting laws. The village has no specific plan on how to cut down on the population, but one proposed idea is an organized hunt with sharpshooters, which would cost about $30,000. And in fact, there's good evidence uh, that it'll perpetuate the problem by encouraging deer to repopulate at a faster rate. This issue is even getting the attention from the state director with the League of Humane Voters. And we wonder too, I don't think they've researched any non-lethal alternatives such as the streeter lights, which are very effective for preventing um, deer vehicle collisions. Now, those in favor of killing deer have expressed concerns about how the deer affect their property, their safety, and potentially their health. Reporting live, Kelly Miner, Fox Toledo News, first at 10.